There was a lot of feedback on the last video regarding the Sicilian Mafia. Personally, for me, they're the most interesting because of their long history, specifically the Coyonesi. As one viewer in the comment section described them as, ruthless and patient, a deadly combination. An accurate description. The Coyonesi was obviously misjudged, and it's been said they were viewed as farmers, which is true. Most came from backgrounds where they grew up on farms. Nevertheless, they were farmers with criminal minds. because their visions of the future included being more than farmers. The downfall of the Palermo bosses was complacency. They began making serious money and looked down at the people and bosses from Corleone. Tommaso Buschetta once said that after being away for a while and visiting Sicily again, everyone was rich, living in villas, flaunting their wealth. This naturally was the result of narcotics trafficking. What some people may not have known is that prior to the Second Mafia War, which I find ironic because it was the furthest thing from a war, it was annihilation. Nonetheless, prior to that, the bosses all got along and were friendly with each other. I mentioned in the last video, but Dalamente helped members of the Colonesi when they were fugitives. While researching, I came across information which I'm not sure is accurate or not, but interesting enough to mention it. In one report, the murder of Salvatore Giuliano is explained. For those of you who are not familiar, he was a famous bandit in Sicily, nicknamed the Sicilian Robin Hood, who was killed in July of 1950. So in this particular report, which was an official court document, it said as follows. A Sicilian boss, Ignazio Maselli, had Luciano Ligio, who at the time was up and coming, kill Giuliano. But the murder was ordered by Badalamente. After allegedly killing Giuliano, Ligio handed the body over to Gaspari Pichotta, who was Giuliano's right-hand man, and Pichotta took the credit. I know during that time frame, Ligio answered to a local boss, Michele Navarra. However, anything's possible. What is factual is that both Totorina and Bernardo Provenzano had committed multiple murders for Badalamente. And as I mentioned, they all got along at one time. I hope viewers enjoy some Sicilian Mafia history. I like to sprinkle it into the mix now and then, and will continue to do so. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day.